Welcome, my chingus, to episode 8 of Two Way Gooks in Korea. My name is Steven. My name is Josh. And we are both English teachers living in South Korea. Mm -hmm. And today, we are going to talk about the video gaming culture in Korea. Mm -hmm. Now, I love video games. I also love video games. I play. I was kind of that stereotypical video game player before I left. I mean, I spent way too much time on my computer. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Korea was because uh, Korea is known for, uh, you know, primarily with StarCraft, right? Yeah. Being like a crazy, crazy video game haven. Yeah. A heaven, you might say. Haven heaven. A hate heaven. Rock hard. Now, <laughs> uh, the, the thing is, you know, uh, Korea is known for, or it's special because it has a professional gaming, like, job. Mm -hmm. That is a job. Now, in America and in Europe it's, and in China, it's slowly becoming a thing. Yeah, within the past year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but in in Korea, it's legitimately it, like, it's, you're a pro gamer. That is a career. It's a career it's that many kids want to do. Yeah. Pays quite a lot of money if you're, if you're relatively successful. Um, and, and, and Korea's had a pro uh, kind of job for 10, 15 years, ever since StarCraft 1 yeah. uh, uh, back in the day. Yeah. Um, and StarCraft's been the primary thing. Uh, that's what I heard about. I heard about, yeah. you know, all those, those Koreans playing StarCraft. Starcraft. Like, oh, man. Starcraft. I love, like, I used to play StarCraft and wish I could be a professional StarCraft player. But, as many of you do not know, Korea don't play StarCraft no more. I don't play no StarCraft. That is, that is such a dated game now. Even StarCraft 2, I don't see anybody She's old. playing it. I don't even see posters of that. I don't even when we go to like PC bombs, we don't see posters of it. We'll but what is the game that's taken over now? No, that that game is League of Legends. Lol. 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 As they always say. Lol. 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 Um now that that's the biggest game in the world, I think, right now. Mm -hmm. Most um, played, I think. Yeah, most played games. Yeah. Uh most like I think they said they have 49 million users like mm -hmm. like a month or some crazy nonsense. Some crazy, yeah. Uh, they have a lot of people playing, basically, is what no. they're saying. But it's really big here, too. In the last kind of year, they've all transitioned to League of Legends. Mm -hmm. And, you know, professional gamers, if you're on one of the better teams, you know, you can make up to six figures a year just on salary. U.S. Yeah, six U.S. US. That doesn't include winnings from a tournament, mm -hmm. which, for example, the, the World Championships of League of Legends just happened a, a month or two ago. And yeah. a Korean team won it. And the, the prize for number one is a million dollars. Yeah. So um, you split that five ways, right, with a team, and then yeah. everybody gets a little slice. Yeah, that's a big slice. Um, and, you know, uh, they also kind of, you get popular enough, you get kind of endorsement deals, your, you know, mouse products, keyboards, yeah. uh, energy sponsors. drinks. You get sponsors, right? Yeah. And I think the most famous, I think, StarCraft player, um, you know, even when he went to the military mm -hmm. and he couldn't play video games, they decided, you know what? Uh, the Air Force, we're just going to make a StarCraft team. We'll just make a StarCraft division just yeah. for you. Just for you That's so you can keep playing. He was like a national freaking hero. Yeah. Um, just, just, for really cool. just for, for playing, playing a video game. game. Just for playing a video game. And I saw like some StarCraft players, like StarCraft 1 players, like on SNL Korea like a month or so ago. Yeah. Like they're, people know who they are. Yeah. Like the culture is pretty, pretty understood here. Yeah. Now, of course, most parents are like, they don't dream of their children being professional gamers. Like, it's still kind of a thing that um, most parents frown upon. Um, like playing video games, wasting your life, things like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it gaming here of all kinds is just kind of accepted. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of old. You know, I'm 27 in, in international age in America. And all of my friends who are girls, like, some of, the, some of them are okay with gaming, mm -hmm. but they don't game. Like... And, and I know a shit ton of girls that are like, oh, gaming? What are you, a nerd? Oh, that's stupid. Why don't you get a real thing like watch football? Because that's, that's different than watching League of Legends. I watch football and League of Legends. Uh, yeah, Newsflash, they're not even different. Not even different. Most chingus don't even go out and play football anymore. You know, like, they just watch it. That'll make you cooler. Um, that's a rant. Uh, All right, calm down. But, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. you know, recently, you know, the younger generation... People that are like 20 now, 15 now. A lot of my students back in high school when I was teaching at home, like a lot of people play games. Yeah. Like it's just a universal kind of thing. And Korea has been like that for 10, 15 years now. Yeah. Um, and it's a little bit more like widely accepted that everyone kind of plays games. Or a lot of the guys will play games, right? Yeah. Um, but. And that kind of transition into that, you know, gaming is an industry. Mm -hmm. And in Korea, in some of our old way we talked about how um, – 
people live with their parents in relatively small houses until they're 30, sometimes 35, before they get married. And so you don't get much privacy. Yeah. Um, and even then you might live with your in-laws. Who knows? Yeah. You don't want to make a lot of noise. You know, I know when I play computer games, sometimes I get really hyped, start yelling obscenities, you know, that rager. kind of deal. You're a rager. Yeah, I'm a little rager. Um, so what they have in Korea, they have these places called PC Bongs. PC Bongs. And Bong means room in Korea, so just like Nora PC Bong room. is a singing room, PC Bong is a, a PC room. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much like if you're a, a, a computer gamer, it's like your wet dream. It's like fast as shit computers with so fast as shit internet, these all PC crammed in one room. These PC rigs are just like built for speed. Yeah. Like we're, we were playing at a PC Bong the other day. We had like single digit ping. Yeah. yeah. Single digit ping. Like. Korean internet, if you don't know, is the fastest in the world. Yeah. Um, and we're getting like nine ping. Um, and like three digit frame rate, like 117 like yeah. frames. Per, it's like, what? Yeah. It, it's crazy. Like, now, I know League is not, of course, the most blah, 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 blah. But um, it's it, they're still pretty darn good computers. Mm -hmm. um, and then the crazy thing is that you go there, one hour. I mean, if you were to guess, like, I've actually been to land centers in America. Um, not very good ones. And I think playing for an hour was like five bucks, yeah, maybe? Yeah, it was about the same around my area. Um, five bucks for an hour. Maybe and, like maybe eight bucks for an hour. It's yeah. kind of pricey, right? It's kind of pricey. But um, guess how much it is here? Here, it's usually between 1,000 won to 1,200 won an hour. And that's like a dollar US. It's a dollar. A dollar. So we'll play for five hours. Costs five dollars. Um, they sell drinks there. They sell coffee. They sell ramen. ramen they chips. Like people are literally there for for the entire day. Uh, we've seen people play video games. People watch dramas there. Mm -hmm. People playing. I saw a, a kid playing a flash game. <laughs> I remember that. We were just like, is that dude playing a flash game? A flash game. He's playing. But you know, that's where you're you're free from your parents. You're with your friends. Like you're having fun. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's really cool. Like. I would have lost my childhood to, you know, I play PC games in my home room. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it'd be so much cooler if I could just go to a place, all my friends are there, we're playing on fast as shit computers, yeah. like you're not playing on a shitty computer with shitty internet like I did. Like, you don't even have to own a computer, you just go to these places. Yeah. And they have computers set up for you, right? Yeah. And they're the top of the line computers, the fastest internet speed. Yeah. Like, you, you can just, it's cheap. Is you know students can afford it, yeah. and surprisingly, a lot of my students will go to PC bombs after school if they don't go to like the canopies and stuff. And like my kids aren't really all that well off, but they'll still go to PC bombs because it's that cheap. Yeah. It's like cheap entertainment for you and your friends. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, it's not. It's mostly not kids. It's mostly adults. Um, kind of around our ages. Kind of around our ages. Maybe and a little bit younger, like college kids, also. And granted, there's not a lot of girls, but there are girls, which is still surprising. Playing League of um, Legends, like chain smoking cigarettes, you're like, yeah. Now then, that's the the one bad thing though is that I mean, I Korea guess. in general like smokes like crazy. Mm -hmm. um, we might do a wake ups about that or, or what kind of that. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. But the problem is like it's it's it is actually I think illegal officially to smoke inside buildings, but it people do it anyways. Yeah. Um, or you have to have like a designated area for smoking. Right. And smoking is like banned in bars, but people do it all the time. People do it all the time, right? But so the problem is like there's a lot of kids, but there's just smoke. Some of the PC bombs we've been into is just it's awful. It's like um it's there's, like there's, you're smoking. Their smoking, non smoking section is about like a three foot high wall, like Gears of yeah. War style. There's like, like space on like, top. There's not even a door separating the two rooms. It's just like um, Okay, here's the smoking section, here's the non smoking section, and they're just like yeah. segmented by a little strip of like <laughs> plexiglass. And yeah. like, no, that doesn't do anything. Your like, whole body smells like smoke when you're done. Your clothes smell like smoke, like your throat is like dry, yeah. and your skin feels terrible. And you're like, why? I just play <laughs> video games. And there's the smoke. And that reminds me, one of my students was like telling me how he got in trouble because his mom caught him going to PC Bong. And I'm like, how'd your parents know? And he's like, she smelled the smoke on my on my clothes. And I was like, oh, you should have watched out for that. Um, and they actually... <laughs> for pizza. Yeah, they actually have a Febreze. At um, the door. At the door, so you can spray yourself before you leave. Yeah. Uh, and they also have that at like Korean barbecue restaurants. I didn't yeah. have all smoke. Um, yeah. uh, bars don't, but I guess who cares? They should. Um, they, they definitely should. But, um, you know, it, it's... It, it blows my mind. Like I knew they had PC bombs here. Mm -hmm. like, I knew that, but just the fact it's so cheap. Um, if you're kind of into League of Legends, like it's really cool because if you play at a PC bomb, all the champions are unlocked, and you get um, like a bonus on getting like the in-game currency, the IP. Yeah, like twenty percent bonus or something. Yeah, and, and, it's and good. having all the characters on is really awesome. And you know, a little even more nerdy is like 
we were playing, we just made a new account, we're playing level 5, and like people are trying, and better I'm than most hard. people that are like level 30. It's crazy. They're, um, definitely, they're definitely Smurfs. And yeah. if you guys don't know what Smurfs are, Smurfs are uh, like throwaway accounts that people make like on the side, right? Sure. But the thing about those in Korea, it's, it's strange because uh, we have to make uh, an iPin to play online games, now, most online games. Now, iPin is directly linked to your social security card, or for us, like foreigners, our ARC card. Sure. And like, if you get banned from law, you are like banned. Yeah. Like, so you would expect the like the kind of online like etiquette to be a little better, but it's not all that better. No. Because um, I can read Korean, yeah. and they're slamming <laughs> a lot. Yeah. And the iPad is very important. You need it to do anything online. Make an account, yeah. even a simple small account. You needed to buy things online. Like it's pretty important. So when that thing kind of loses, like if you get banned, it's not like in America where you can just, oh, I'm just making a new account with a fake email. Like it's a little bit harder. I mean, but there's got to be some way around it because you have like level five guys who are playing really, really, really like try hardy. And you're like, <laughs> if you're really new to this game, you wouldn't know what you were doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But that's, that's really nerdy. Only You only got that if you're in League of Legends. Yeah. Um, but we also wanted to talk about, you know, um, they have tournaments here, really big League of Legends tournaments. We've talked about World Championships, but they kind of have a weekly tournament, which we went to. Yeah. Um, and it is really cool. Uh, what's surprising, though, when we, I know when we first got there, we were like, there's so many girls here. So many girls here. Yeah. So many girls. Like, maybe a third of the audience was girls, which is insane. Like, that's an insane, insane number. number. And most of them was cute. They were good. They weren't there with. I mean, some of them were there with their boyfriends, but there were plenty of girls some just of there. Some was there for the players. And, like, we would be watching and, like, you can kind of tell which ones are there with their boyfriends because they don't know what's going on. There's so many girls like gasping and like getting all into it, and I was like, "This is." They awesome. have like little like like little signs or like yeah, yeah like yeah. LED things or like little wave little feather sticks. Yeah, it's kind of cute, but yeah. and, and I don't know, and it's just like it still just makes me happy. It makes me happy inside because girls at home are still like, "What you like a video game?" Like, fuck you. Yeah. Granted, there are plenty of girls back home who play video games and play there video are. games. There are, and I wish I met you. But he didn't. But I didn't. I mean, my friends can play games. Like, we'll get together and play games. But they're, they're not really the type to, like, really, you know, get into the games that... that, that um, to be a part of, like, that gaming I culture, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what game's going to be released. You, like, kind of know in depth about certain games, sure. gaming history. Share the excitement yeah. um, that I do. Yeah. Um, now that's kind of PC gaming. Mm -hmm. um, Korea really does not have a, a, a console gaming market. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Xbox is not existent here. Essentially, um, yeah. They they have PS threes or Playstations, uh, and I know the PlayStation Four launched here. Yeah, I have never seen one. Um, I, I even go. I've even well, kind of went fans, yeah. to the big kind of like big box stores here, and they yeah. don't have them. Um, and, and most people really only use them to play like FIFA. FIFA is ginormous here. And usually they're just playing FIFA online. Yeah, they're usually playing FIFA online. Um, you know, it's big in Europe, and it's just not big in America. That's kind of yeah. the only place that FIFA is not that big in. Mm -hmm. um, but, so the console market doesn't really exist. Handheld market kind of doesn't exist. Like DS's, Vita's, stuff. Uh -huh. And the main reason is because Korea has the highest penetration of smartphones. I think it's like 93%. Um, A lot of people have smartphones. Insane. Like, for example, it's not even that. It's like they upgrade instantly. Mm -hmm. And phones are expensive here. They, they are a, a, a like 50% increase in price here if you were to buy a smartphone then back in America. Mm, um, depends where you go, but um, it, in general, they're a little bit more pricier here than what you're used to in, like, the States. I mean, we bought, like, a Note 3, yeah. and at the end, the grand total for just the phone was, like, $1.1 million. Yeah, which is like almost like a thousand bucks. Almost a thousand dollars. And I know you can get a, a, a no three off contract for like six hundred bucks or less. Yeah, maybe um, like maybe if like it's regularly expensive, it'd be like eight hundred. Right? Sure. But with the contract, like for example, an iPhone with contract is only two hundred bucks. But here with contract, they, there's no subsidy. You pay the full price no matter mm -hmm. what. Um because kind of Korea has this like weird stranglehold uh, on on uh the, the phone market. Yeah. Um, and with all these phones comes mobile gaming. Yeah. Now, mobile gaming is huge. And Gigantic. I, I can't begin to explain 
how large it is. Yeah. Like almost everyone plays a mobile game, some sort of mobile game, yeah. um, either off Kakao or Line or through like another different company. Yeah. But seriously, like it doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter how young you are, you're usually playing a mobile game. Yeah. Like all my students play a mobile game. Most of my co-teachers play, like my Korean teachers at my school play a mobile game. And I'm the youngest teacher at my school. And there are more, you know, moms and dads and all that. Um, some of them are, you know, married, things like that. And they play mobile games too. Yeah. So, And the mobile games they play range, but they all have microtransactions. Like all mm -hmm. microtransaction based. Um, so if you don't know what that is, just think Candy Crush. Um because, you know, usually they're gated. Like, you can only play a certain amount of times so where you got to ask your friends, ask your chingus for things. Yeah, that, there's, like, some sort of resource, like diamonds yeah. or, or stars or bop. Yeah, you or can like, always buy more points. You can always buy more items. You can always buy more bop or whatever currency you're using. Costumes, um, skins. And, right. and the thing is, people buy them. I mean, they're really profitable here. Um, and you know what? They're also profitable back at home, you know? Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, Farmville. Korea just got... Candy Crush. And the only reason I know that is because I've seen a shit ton of people playing Candy Crush here. Yeah. Well, um, they have their own Korean version. It's called, like, Anipang. Sure. But but I'm seeing real Candy Crush. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, they have real, real Candy Crush They have real too, Candy yeah. Crush now. But they do have their clone for it. Um, yeah. I play that, too. Not as good. Not as good. Um, but, you know, Candy Crush is the ideal game here. It is. It has everything that, that, that Korean, all Korean games have. And it could be an RPG. It could be a strategy game. It could be a town building game. It could be mini games. But they all, everybody plays them. They find, like, they, they hit every spectrum that you can hit. Mm -hmm. And they all require, you don't have to pay money. For like, them. some sort of, yeah. But it's, like, normal. It's, like, yeah, we do that. Yeah, like, you get more costumes or get, like, more bonus points or something like yeah. that if you get it. Um, but then that's what's crazy to me is just the ubiquity of, of games. It's, like, I, I've met so many girls back at home speaking, which are, like, games are for losers. I'm, like, I know you're fucking level 9 million on Candy Crush. I yeah. know you spent eight years playing that game. Like, why do you still think that. games are, are for losers? Dude, and they're just like, the that's different Like than just you shooting Chingus. And I'm like, all right, whatever. No, all you um, just, just tamping. Yeah, you just tamping. Um, and Josh has been really obsessed with this one kind of set of mini games. Ah, recently. family action puzzle. Oh, uh, I so, like, I, I really wish there was a fucking time thing that said, you've been playing for 8 million years. Um, I play the game, like, like, in between when we're recording. In between or, everything. Like, eating, between, pooping, living. Well, like, School. if I have, like, a two-minute, like, break of just doing nothing, yeah. I'm probably listening to music and playing actual puzzle. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Um, but, you know, uh, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come here was because of how accepted gaming was. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that we got to go to a PC Bond experience it. We got to go to what, see a, uh, a competition. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go see the finals. Though. Yeah, we didn't get to see the finals of the most recent one. Because but sold out. the World Championships, where the prize of one million fucking dollars is going to be in Korea this this year. So I mean, if I got to murder a murder a peep, murder a Chengu, uh, we're going to go to that. Obviously not you, because I don't know where to go with. Oh yeah, you can't but, read the Korean. Uh, okay. Well, you know, it's so popular that almost every league hires an English-speaking duo of casters. Just for the international kind of community. So. Shout out to Monte Cristo. Yeah. Um, we met him. You shook know, his you hand. Know who he is. After um, he went to the bathroom, I shook his hand. Shook his hand, of course. We, we were waiting for that motherfucker outside the bathroom. Um, and then we ended up having to spend the night playing all night in Seoul because we couldn't get a bus back. Missed our bus back because this chingu wanted to meet Monte Cristo. But it was worth it. You know, we It's totally it. worth it. Um, but yeah, that's gaming in Korea. If you want to know anything else about Korea... Um, maybe look at some of our old episodes. Maybe we talked about it. Maybe. If we didn't talk about it, give us some comments. Tell us what you think. I know this was a very like specific kind of uh, uh, two-way gigs in Korea, but, you know, whatever. Um, if we know something about it, we'll tell you what we know about it. Yeah. Um, if we don't do it, then we probably don't know much about it, or we're still kind of, like, researching. Yeah. Yeah, gaming is equally, or if not more important, than, than K-pop to me. So, um, really excited to talk about it. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't notice, Way Gooks are now on Wednesdays. I probably should have said that hey. at the beginning. Um, so, so you're probably watching this on Wednesday. Every Wednesday. I'm putting it up at midnight Wednesday because we pre-record these. So please, please, please check in next Wednesday for the next Way Gooks. We're done. Bye. See you guys playing video games. Unless you hate them. And then I hate you. That's mean.
Rock hard.